So the first idea, really think about, you know, asking students, you know, your community, uh, who is a teacher that inspires you and why, using that 10 little snippets, you know, uh, using that as professional learning. And then the second one was really thinking about how we bring our caregivers, our community into professional learning opportunities. And uh, before I get to the third one, I actually just kind of thought of a story that I wanted to share real quick. I don't think you should just even limit it to parents. We actually, um, we, we brought in community members. Uh, we brought in students as well too. Uh, and, you know, obviously it's age appropriate, you know, kindergarten kid maybe at a PD day is probably not the best thing, but high school students uh, can actually have that opportunity. And this is the story I want to share and just came to my mind as I'm kind of talking these things out. And this is actually going to lead to the third thing I wanted to talk about. Um, I remember actually is at a professional learning day that I was invited to speak at and I am such a huge advocate of kids being a part of that day. And one of the things I remember, I was in Lethbridge, Alberta. I think, yeah, I was in Lethbridge. It was in Southern Alberta. And I had been part of a lot of PD days. Uh, and a lot of times the superintendent will go up or, you know, a school board representative and they'll start talking and it's, uh, you know, people, people will just continue talking over them. They'll like even hear the mic on and they'll talk louder because, you know, the superintendent's interrupting their conversation they're having with the neighbor. And it's kind of like an awkward thing that I've actually, you know, seen happen in, in education. And I remember when I was in Lethbridge, uh, what they did, a grade two kid started the day came up to the mic, started talking, and it was silence. It was absolutely amazing, right? Because who, what teacher wants to be interrupting a seven-year-old? It's probably not the best look, right? And just we paid attention. But there's also like, why did we get an education? We love kids, right? Like, I think that's a really powerful thing. And so ever since that day, I was like, yeah, we have to get kids involved. This is really, it reminds us why we do what we do, you know, gives us accountability to, you know, act in the way that we, you know, hope for our students. And so there's this one day, uh, the, the, the group asked me, uh, they said, Hey, we want kids to introduce you. Uh, do you have an introduction to the career? I said, actually, I, I would rather them not read an introduction. I want them to Google me and create their own. So I want them to kind of look like how important it is to actually Google someone. So they Googled me, they wrote an introduction based on the stuff that they found it was absolutely brilliant. So they introduced me. I start walking up to the stage and then all of a sudden, um, they're actually walking out of the auditorium. I'm like, Hey, where are you going? And they're like, oh, we're just, we're just here today uh, to introduce you. Uh, but we're, you know, we're like, it's our day off, right? So <laughs> we're just here to do that and we're out. I said, I would love for you to stay. I, 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 the things I talk about, I would love your feedback. I'd love to hear. I'm here to advocate, you know, for things I hope that help you. And I would love for you to be a part of this conversation. It would be so amazing if you stayed. And they're like, uh, actually, it's our day off. So we're not going. I'm like, okay. I, I, I said, here's the deal. If you stay and this sucks, I'll take you, I'll take you all for lunch. I'll, 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 I'll buy you all lunch. And they're like, all right, okay, we'll stay. We'll stay. Cause they're like free lunch. This is going to suck. We're going to get free lunch out of this. And, uh, they stayed and they actually loved it. And they, they were, I, I could tell they were like, it's actually really good. Like, I love what this guy's saying. And I, it was just such a, you know, powerful thing because I, you know, that who is, that is ultimately who I'm accountable to. Uh, you know, if I'm advocating for practices for kids, I think the kids should be, you know, in that process. So we actually, um, they stayed for lunch, but I didn't have to buy it for them. They offered lunch and they, they stayed and had lunch, you know, in with the staff in the cafeteria. And so I sat with them and I just asked for the feedback. And a, a, a kid said something that I will never forget. Uh, and, and, and when they actually shared this to me, it was, it was really powerful. They said, um, if, if teachers are learning this stuff, uh, on the days that we're not here, why is this not happening in our classrooms? And I was like, just flabbergasted that that was said. And I thought, you know, like that, that is kind of a true thing. So having those students in there, there, like I said, there was an accountability, but you know, thinking as a professional learning day, do we encourage our staff to actually share like, Hey, you know, it'd be great. Share a couple of things that you learn with your students. So they see you not as learners, uh, but maybe even share some of the stuff that you're excited about. Maybe share some of the things that you're struggling with. Um, you know, maybe we're not inviting students in right away. I don't know where you are as a community, where you feel comfort level with that, whatever. But, you know, do we model the learning that we expect from our kids, right? And this is something that I'm a huge advocate of. So, you know, the first one, getting that professional learning through that, you know, student podcast would be really powerful. The second one, how do we bring our community into our professional learning? And here's the third one. And this is going to kind of be an, an inception 
point. Uh, I actually had this conversation with uh, Lainey, or sorry, with Livia, Dwight, uh, and Tim. Lainey was actually in the chat, uh, not not on the video. And uh, I thought, you know what? This is actually like, I kind of want to just capture this. I want to capture some of the things I shared, and I want to kind of just put this process, this reflection. And so as soon as they turn off their cameras and we logged out of there, I turn on my camera, I turn on uh, QuickTime, and I started recording this. And I think there's a real power when we take time to reflect and we take time to like openly reflect. You can see like I'm not scripted or anything like this. I'm just trying to talk these ideas out. And sometimes I'll do this through a blog post. Sometimes I'll do this through a podcast. And so what I'm going to actually encourage you to think about you know, do you take that time to not just reflect, but to openly reflect? <laughs>